Our verse today is Haggai chapter 2 verse 9. The latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts, and in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of hosts. In chapter 2, Haggai addresses the governor, Zerubbabel, and Joshua the high priest and the people who returned from exile. He compares the present temple under construction with the previous one, that is the temple of Jerusalem that was destroyed. Who is left among you who saw this house in its former glory? How do you see it now? Is it not as nothing in your eyes? Haggai chapter 2 verse 3. The temple of Solomon, which the Babylonians destroyed, was glorious and magnificent. If you read 1 Kings chapter 6 to 8. However, Haggai tells the people that God was not interested in just the physical structure. His spirit remains in a new temple that the people were building. They should continue their work. In verse 7 he says, I will shake all the nations so that the treasures of all nations shall come in and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Our verse corroborates that idea. The latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. When the author uses the word house, he refers to the house or dwelling place of God. Sometimes it is called Beth Adonai, house of the Lord, if you read 1 Kings chapter 9 verse 1, or Beth Ha Elohim, the house of God, if you read 2 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 3, or Beth Eleha, house of God in Aramaic, if you read Ezra chapter 5 verse 17. God's presence in the new temple is going to be different from the former temple. His glory will be greater than the former. God is going to bestow something unique upon the people. He will give them his peace, shalom. I can't stop saying what shalom means. I have talked about it in previous videos. It doesn't just mean peace as we construe it today. It is a wish of wholeness, prosperity, ease, unaffectedness, well-being, and good health. God is going to bestow upon his people shalom in this new dwelling place called his temple. Like yesterday, let us look beyond the physical temple where God blesses us when we gather for worship to the interior temple of our hearts. God wants to bless us with his peace and wholeness. When God dwells within us, we experience an inner peace because he is our peace. Read Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. The peace that flows like a river is what God bestows upon us. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 12. All he needs is for us to make way for him to dwell in, to dwell within our hearts so that his peace can reign supreme within us. Lord, come into the temple of our hearts and restore peace and wholeness wherever it is lacking. Amen. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day.